everyone, and welcome to today's mindfulness moment. I want to thank you for taking the time to join us. My name is Valerie Worthington, and I'm a faculty member in the Department of Mind Body Medicine, which is housed in the College of Integrative Medicine and Health Sciences at Saybrook University. And I'm pleased to be leading us today <clears throat> from my home in Philadelphia. And as I'm talking, I would like to invite you to find a comfortable spot, position, maybe start to turn inward a little bit. Notice the depth and the pace of your breathing and see what feels right for you. And if you're so inclined, you might consider closing your eyes or finding a place on which to point a soft gaze. And while you do so, I'd like to spend a little time sharing with you about my mother. My mother is a very important person in my life in many ways. And she's also someone who has helped me on my spiritual and contemplative journey. For as long as I can remember, my mother has been talking about serendipity. And when I was very little, I just thought that serendipity was a goofy and kind of impressive sounding word that she tended to use a lot when she seemed surprised but happy about something. And then as I got older and I learned more about what it meant, I started to find definitions of serendipity, <clears throat> a fortunate accident or an unexpected happy occurrence or something that came along that enhanced a life or made perfect sense, but that wasn't part of any plan. And my mother looked for these instances of serendipity and found them all the time. And her joy was always infectious. And so I found myself starting to look for those elements and those moments in my own life. One of my favorite examples of serendipity is the adhesive on post-it notes, which was the accidental result of an, att an attempt to create a different kind of adhesive one that was supposed to be very strong, but also permanent. And obviously the inventor didn't accomplish this with the post-it note, but the adhesive was actually a serendipity. It was actually a happy accident because it, he invented, the, the inventor invented this as a result of an accident, as a result of trying to do something different. And these days in my life, I continue to see serendipity playing itself out just like it does for my mother. And it's become more and more a part of my spiritual and my contemplative journey. I like to think of serendipity as the universe meeting me halfway as long as I do my part. And the main takeaway for me is that there is room in our lives, even during tumultuous times, for a sense of curiosity and optimism about what is going to happen to us in the immediate future. There's always an opportunity to be surprised. And as a result of that surprise, to gain additional insight. I started to do some research into what serendipity means, who has talked about serendipity, some of the wisdom that has accrued on this topic. And as you continue to go inward, I wanna invite you to tap into those times when perhaps you experienced a happy accident, a serendipitous occurrence. What was the situation like? And how did you feel while it was happening? And what can we take with us into the rest of our lives, which are undoubtedly filled with stress and uncertainty that might enable us to tap into this serendipitous energy. And for the remainder of our time together, 
I'd like to share with you some of what I found when I did my research on who has said interesting things about serendipity. I'd like to read a brief passage or quote, and then I'll be silent for a few moments in between. And I invite you to contemplate the words as much or as little as you would like. And all the while, I invite you to continue to breathe, to relax your muscles, to check in on what your body needs, and just for a few moments to set aside the rest of the demands on your time. It's a bizarre but wonderful feeling to arrive dead center of a target you didn't even know you were aiming for. Lois McMaster Bujold. The coincidences or little miracles that happen every day of your life are hints that the universe has much bigger plans for you than you ever dreamed of for yourself. Deepak Chopra. They can't explain it, but that doesn't make it any less real. Gail Foreman. But that was the way life worked. Good things and bad, every friendship and romance formed, every accident, every illness resulted from the conspiracy of hundreds of little things in and of themselves inconsequential. Angie Kim.
When seasoned by the subtleties of accident, harmony, favor, wisdom, and inevitability, luck takes on the cast of serendipity. Serendipity happens when a well-trained mind looking for one thing encounters something else, the unexpected. Margot Lee Shetterly. Sometimes wishes come true in strange ways. Ranjani Rao. When love feels like magic, it's called destiny. When destiny has a sense of humor, it's called serendipity. From the movie, Serendipity. And at this moment, I want to invite you to start to come back to our shared virtual space. Maybe to move your body a little bit in response to what it's telling you it needs. And I invite you to remember that all of us here may be in a meditative state. And that as we come back together, you might choose not to speak at all. And if you do choose to speak, I invite you to speak from your experience and not in ways that would take others out of theirs. And I invite you to Come back together with a sense of presence to everyone's practice and everyone's experience. 